What's going on guys? So I am out here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Venetian and I am touring the new 2025 lineup from Jayco. They have pretty much all of their new floor plans, all of their changes and innovations going on out here and they invited me out so I could film some of these new products. In front of me, you were looking at something pretty dang cool. So this is a Jayco Swift 20Y. This is built on the Ram ProMaster chassis. It's a 3500 series chassis, so a one ton chassis. And what's really cool about this is that they finally have a chassis that doesn't look horrifically ugly up front. I have honestly felt the Ram van chassis was probably one of the ugliest looking vans you could get but now it actually looks really nice they've done a great job modernizing it making it look less commercial industrial and making it look sleek modern and relevant in my opinion some of the top features of this one according to their little poster they have here is that it is on the promaster 3500 series window van chassis it has a 59 inch by 73 inch loft bed let's see what else it has in here a 25 by 46 inch wet bath which is a good size wet bath and an optional pop-up top. So that's kind of cool if you want to put the tent top up top. I've already done a video on one similar to this that had that, but it was the previous generation. But what do you guys think? This thing is super cool. They've done a lot here, and I can honestly tell you I like what I'm looking at. But let's check out what's inside. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so let's walk up to this and see what it's all about. First, I'm gonna detour. We're gonna look inside of the cab. Check that out. That seating looks beautiful. The dash finally looks really, really nice. Huge display. It's just a really, really good looking interior. I love this LED light strip up here. It definitely adds accent to the interior. Plus you have some storage right up here as well. Now we can go inside. All right, so stepping inside, another view of that cab, along with that continuous LED light strip they have up here. Really soft feeling seats as well. This is kind of cool because the seats swivel around so they turn into essentially like captain's chairs when you flip them around. And you can use it to eat on the other side of this dinette. You have a nice little area here and underneath here you're going to have some storage as well but it also seems as if it it converts somehow i'm trying to see what you do here it might turn into a little bed somehow again i'm not 100 percent sure how you would set it up but at least that's what it looks like no slide outs on this unit over here you have your compact refrigerator with a small freezer up top so that's really nice here you have your Dometic two burner cooktop. Glass top to it. Nice solid surface material here, looks great. You have your cabinets right here, which I assume are locked. Yep, so you have, I figured this one out here. Let's see. Okay, so you grab from underneath. You know, I remember seeing these when I was touring uh, RVs of America. They showed me this cool little hidden latch. So it locks and then it won't open, and then you grab it right here, squeeze. And it opens up really nice and it's held in place with really good little holds and strut arms you have your sink an actual faucet it's not a weird folding faucet that is very heavy stainless steel undermount single basin sink under here you're going to have a drawer for cutlery very nice or your silverware under there you're going to have your is this a convection I don't know if it's convection. It is convection. It's got the convect button. So you have a convection microwave oven, which kind of substitutes for a stove. Or an oven, at least. Another drawer there. Again, more of these little hidden latches. Good size bed. So that's really nice. They call this a loft bed, but it's elevated up, but it's actually really nice. And you can open up these drawers as well. You get the JBL Flip 6 speaker in here. And this is kind of cool too. So for the bathroom, you actually can kind of open this up and block an area off. But that's how you would open it up completely. It is a wet bath and it's not a terrible size wet bath. It's actually okay. Um, you got your mirror over there and I believe that's also a medicine cabinet. It is. So you got a medicine cabinet. You got your shower controls right there spot for your toilet paper 
and a cover for it so it doesn't get wet when you're taking a shower. You have your toilet here and a cornered sink. And to be honest with you, there's enough room in here to use this as a shower. It's not super, super, super cramped, though it is not in a big open space like some RVs, of course. But again, considering there is no slide out in this unit and this is a space you have to work with, I think that's a pretty reasonable compromise. Okay, let's close this and then you can lock it right there. Let's go outside and see what the outside of this thing looks like. All right, coming around. Again, this is called the Swift. You have a receiver hitch down there. Usually these are gonna have like a 5,000 pound tow capacity and a 500 pound hitch weight, but I'm not 100% sure on this one. Maybe they'll mention it. Oh, they do. Opening up the back. This is kind of cool because it has this really cool screen door that can close in place. So you can have this all kind of open aired, which is really nice. You have a spot to be able to store some things. More storage back here. You have an outside shower. And right here, this looks like, okay, so that's your water pump. You have your spray connector right there, your water valves. And this is to open up and turn to different types of water connections. Then you have some storage in between. This is very cool. What do you guys think? I'd love to know your opinion. It's got the camera already in place. Coming around this side, you have all of your connections. 30 amp. Then you have your propane connections down there. Here's your exhaust. And this right here is for your generator. So this is where you would turn on your generator. I'd love to know your feedback on this. What do you guys think? I really like the look of the new front ends though. It looks a lot better than it used to. And I think it definitely makes it stand out. You can see you have solar already on top. You have a nice roof rack up there as well. And you have your AC system up there also. But please leave a comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts on these, uh, these new Swift by Jayco Class B vans. Super, super popular, people love these things, and I can see why. It's just a great way to move across the country without having a tremendous load that you're towing behind you or that's taking up the road. And uh, you know, this actually probably has a smaller footprint than my F450 does. Anyways, please leave a comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.